Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to Card Making Project for Fab Scraps number 19. Today we're going to make a card using the brand new collection called Spilt Milk. Ideal for any pet lover and it is just a gorgeous collection. We're going to make a thank you card today but it could be easily adapted to birthdays or whatever occasion you need it to be. I thought a thank you card because it would be ideal for anybody who's looked after your pets while you've been away, maybe you've been in hospital for a short stay and somebody's had to come and pet sit or maybe somebody who walks your pets for you. I won't just say dogs because cats get walked as well. Um, so it's kind of like just a thank you card but very pet orientated. Everything I do use I shall put in a detailed list on my blog so please be sure to check it out. And now all the extras will be on there as well. And for anybody interested in purchasing the Spilt Milk collection or even the Antique Elegance that's available at the moment, please check the details on my blog because it's available internationally and that's the only place that you can purchase your fab boxes from. So without further ado, let's make a card. The base card that we're going to use today is a 6 by 6 inch card. It's a 6 inch square card. If this is kind of difficult for you to get hold of. You could always adapt it and use a different size card. But it's just, I thought this warranted a 6x6. Six six. It would uh, just make it a nice shape for this one. I'm using a bone folder just to make sure the scored edge on my card is nice and sharp for when it stands up. And then we can create our inside. I have, I will just touch on this, I have added my handmade stamp and added my name so that if I give this card to anybody in the future they will know who's made it for them if they keep it. So the inside of our card. Now this is a really easy inside however it looks like it's more complicated than it is and please trust me it isn't. I've used a white base card I've used an ivory piece of card. I've cut the ivory piece of card just slightly smaller by about half an inch to give a quarter of an inch um, frame around the inside of the card. And then I've tapped it with an ink pad all the way around in a black ink pad. I've used the stencil that you get in the collection and I've stenciled paws all the way down one side. I've used just a vintage ink to stencil the brown paws and then I've just used the ink brushes just to do a little bit of blending of the ink on that section. I've used a stamp from my own stash that just says thanks and I've stamped it five times along the edge of where I've stenciled the paws. And I've got double sided tape on the back and I'm just going to attach this to the inside of the card. Now believe me, the insert, it took minutes to stencil and just use a little bit of ink to blend it and add the stamped words. I've then taken from the embellishment sheet that's included in the pack, it's a, sheet, it's a double sided sheet, it's got embellishments on one side and paper pattern on the other and it's like a studded collar border. We're going to use some on the front of the card as well, but I've got some extra that I haven't used on the front. I've got flat tape on the back of it and I've cut it to the same size as our insert and I'm just going to add it along the edge of where I've stamped the words thanks and then I can press it down and that is our insert complete. And I just think that looks so cool. There's lots of room for you to be able to write a good message on this. And obviously it's distinctively pet orientated. Now we can turn our attention to the front and I'm just going to use my bone folder again to make sure that that crease is nice and sharp still. Now for the base of the front of the card, I've taken one of the actual 8x8 bonus pieces of cardstock. I've cut it to fit the full size of the card, 6x6 six six inches. 
And then I've also stenciled using the paw stencil across the top and the bottom the running paws along the edge. One goes one way, one goes the other way. And I'm just going to turn the card so I can see to add this over the full card front. There we go. And press it down. So you can see the paws I've stenciled. Again, I've just used a vintage brown ink pad to be able to stencil the paws on. Next, I've taken a piece of black cardstock and with the torn edges, I can just add this just above the centre of our card. And I've got flat tape on the back and I can pop it down like so. Next, I've taken a little bit of the cardstock that we used for the base of the card and because it's um, double sided, I'm using the reverse side it's more of a plain textured pattern on this rather than the actual script. Again, I've torn the edges and I've got flat tape on the back of it and I'm just placing it through the centre of the card. Next, I mentioned the actual border strip that we used for the inside of the card. This is the extra that we have. And I've just got two pieces because there isn't quite enough to fit the card. And put the second piece on. So I'm taking it through the centre of our previous layer like that. Don't worry that they don't meet, it's just we're going to cover that up. I just want something at the edges. So next I've used now this is a Fiskars punch. And I'd forgotten I'd had it. I've punched six times. And I'm just going to add these. I would say roughly about here on the card. And then we're going to do the same for underneath. There we go. And it's just a little bit of something extra just to give it different looks and I won't say textures but it makes it look as though it's got different textures to it. There was just a little bit of tape on the back of these so we've added six of them in a contrasting colour and then I've taken a sentiment from the sheet that's included in the spilt milk and it's got lots of different animals on and different sentiments. I've got 3D foam on the back of this and I'm just going to put it to one side through the centre but just slightly to the left. And I would say about there. There we go, I can press it down. Next I have one of the embellishments that's in the actual collection with the bonus cardstock. It says you are Pawson and it's a little dog house and it's got the door hole for the actual um, dog to go into. And what I've done is I've taken a piece of cardstock and I've stenciled a paw on it and then I've just folded it over at one edge. I've got tape on it. I've added just a pen line as if I've sewn it. I can take the back of the tape away. Now you'll be able to do this flat on a desk. And I'm just going to add this just over the opening of the house. So it makes it look like a little door. There we go. How cute is that? I can add this to the front of the card. You are possum. That is gorgeous. With a little door. And then I've taken, now this is a silver bottle cap. And I've just cut a circle of cardstock. And then I've stenciled the paw on it. 
outlined it with black and then covered it with glossy accents. I've got 3D foam on the back and I'm just going to add that about there, I would say, on the card. I've die cut, I haven't die cut, sorry, I've taken one of the embellishments and I've cut it out with scissors and it's the little bone and then I've just stamped it using a stamp I already have in my stash and it says all you need is love and a dog. I've got 3D foam on the back of that and I'm just going to add that just slightly over the doghouse top and the embellishment. Press those down and then I'm going to finish it with a little black bow and that is our card finished. And how cute is that for any dog lover? Now you could change it, you could use it um, for a cat lover because there's lots of sentiments there with cats on as well and it would just work for both of them. Now the inside is just as cute and so easy. Please have a go with your stencil to make something like this for your inserts. I think you'll really enjoy it. And the paw prints on the bottom, it just all works so well. And those colour tones, they're absolutely gorgeous. Please give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching. Please check the blog as well and you can always contact me on Facebook. I think we'll be back to normal. You'll probably see me next week, I'm not sure. It just depends how technology goes. There we are. So I do hope you've enjoyed watching and I would just like to say thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.